there, my name is Samuel, and welcome back to another video. And today, we shall be taking a look at the set 75966 Hogwarts Room of Requirement, which does contain 193 pieces for minifigures. And this is a rigid retail for £18, $20, and €20. Euros. And this set, I think, is a pretty good value, but there is something that I will definitely talk about at the end. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the minifigures and then the build itself. So take a look at the minifigures here. You can see we have Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Luna Lovegood, which honestly, I think these figures are just really awesome. There you can see Harry, which again, that is one of my favourite minifigures. When I was doing that list, I don't know what it is. He just kept coming into mind. I was like, Harry Potter, rumour requirement. He just was a really good minifigure. And also the Joker in the back there. But yeah, there you can see that, which honestly, I think that printing just looks really good. I love the fact that we have like shirt and tie and a cardigan. It's something that's quite seen, of course, in the movies, but not in sets. And there's a little black v-neck there. I'm not sure what that is, because would you wear a jumper, a shirt, then a cardigan? Actually, mm, I get, yeah, maybe, but mm, I don't know, but then it's set in England. Is it Hogwarts? I know it's sort of, I don't know, is it, is it even in England? I don't know. But yeah, there you can see Harry, which is pretty cool, but there you can see his back printing as well, which is pretty cool. There you can see his face print, which he looks pretty happy. So take a look at the little side builds. You can see that we have the Patronuses, which I think look pretty awesome. You can see that we have the bunny here, which is pretty awesome. I like the look of that. I think it's just done really well. And like the translucent blue with all the glitter and just effects like that. I think it's done really well. And that is, of course, Lunas. And then we have the one for Hermione, which I do believe this is a otter. I want to say, I think it's an otter. Please, I really may have messed up, but it's really hard to tell what this is. But there you can see that would have been cool to add some like eye printing, but I don't think that would have been entirely accurate. So yeah, that I think is really cool. And I'd love to actually see that printed as what it should be. And then, of course, we have the training dummy in the back, which I think is pretty cool. And yeah, apologies, it's a bit of a longer section than I planned, but I think it deserves quite a bit of time, these parts. But there, you can see the training dummy, which I think is pretty cool. With the Dementor's face, maybe this should have been a bit darker, I think. But yeah, that nevertheless looks pretty cool. And technically, it's a full minifigure. Like, you could technically say it is. There, you can see the face print, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I really like this figure. I genuinely think it's really cool. The wear and tear and the hood would have been cool to get the new one, but I think these ones work better for Harry Potter it has the wheels on the bottom and the cool thing is is that you sort of can like flick it and hit it which is really nice which is why I think they made it a bit top back heavy but there is that so take a look at the build itself you can see that we have the giant wall and the fireplace and of course we have the billboard which I really marked up like you can see it looks quite down to the left here which is a bit of a pain it doesn't look I guess too bad you can see that we have the Dumbledore's army down there and you can see that has got really dusty which is really not helpful wet there you can see that which i think is pretty cool albus and dumbledore of course this is order of the phoenix and there you can see cedric diggory which was technically like the first dumbledore member they're sort of referencing him to who fell which honestly that looks pretty cool but yeah i did mess that up so that looks pretty cool and then taking a look at the actual build itself let's start off on the other side which yes they have the other side and one thing straight off the bat seriously so this is a secret room yeah that is amazing look you can because clearly see a big issue why i'm moaning wow it's really it's so secret that you can literally see Hermione straight through there. So that is actually just a really fantastic job, you know. Uh, keeping it completely secret, like, I don't think I would see it through those massive uh, pane like floors or ceilings, um, what's going on right? Windows. And then here on this wall, you can see the little um, proclamations that Umbridge did a major 82, 30, 68, and 23, which honestly, that was quite a funny sequence. Just the way that she just goes around literally making everything in life miserable. And that does come out if you press that in, which is pretty cool. But there you can have that, which I like the look of that again. That just works, I would say, pretty well. And then moving over, you can see that we have the windows with the marks, like the marks on the windows. I have got a video planned and about some about something I'm gonna do to see if we can get like this issue addressed. Like why are all the windows getting scratched? It's getting the worst. And then there yeah, you can see this big panel with the stickers there, which is pretty cool, and the little railings for it to move. And yeah, that I don't get like that is amazing. I love the feature, but why can these not be tan? We've seen these in tan. So please, can we have them in town, Lego? But there, anyway, you can see that, which is pretty cool. And moving that over, you can see that we have that there, which is pretty cool. The fact that you can't see anything in there, you can see something. So that, I definitely think is a pretty cool feature. Like, I think it's well done. And then moving on to the other side, you can see that the windows, yep, are translucent. It really bugs me. Like, 
why are they translucent? I don't understand the logic in this. Maybe I've got something wrong. Please, if I've messed this up and I am I getting confused about something, there's something that I've not noticed in the movie, which I'm pretty sure is a stone wall. So, yeah, I don't get that, but there you can see that, which there isn't too much space there. You can see that it's practically just the little walkway, which is okay. And you've got the slopes there where the door is. And then we've got this fireplace, which honestly, I think is pretty cool. I like the fact that that is just, I don't know, it's just sort of nicely done and you do press that in to push that out which that is pretty cool and if you want to press that back in we'll put that back there and it sort of pushes it out i think i did put it in a bit wrong there you can see the fireplace with that sticker that is really hard to see and i like the like the little effect that it's giving off which is pretty cool as you know it's not a fit that's a sticker that's the only parts on the sticker one wow, that is pretty good i didn't even realize that was part of the sticker but there you can see the fireplace which is pretty cool and there is that part of the wall and there is the top of this which looks really neat but that is it Honestly, there's not much space, and the issue with this, don't get me wrong, I think this is a fantastic set. Well, I had it upside down, that's why it's not going in. It's a fantastic set, but it looks a bit weird when you connect it and you've got these translucent parts, which seriously should be a solid color. I, I don't understand. I really don't. Like, why? It's not secret, mate. If you've got Umbridge, yeah, and they're just doing their thing, it's going to be pretty obvious to see like, what's going on. Like, honestly, it's I don't get it. It really, like, bugs me. The more I think about it, the more I get annoyed by it. But there, you can see that with the little pin connections, which are pretty cool, so you can connect it. You have the A plates are there. So that is that. Now, let's take a look at my final thoughts on this set. So there we have it. I hope you did enjoy this review. And yeah, apologies for going on that bit of a rant there. I feel like I did go off on quite a bit there. But I can't help it. It just bugs me. Like, this is something I've been really wanting to talk about. But the fact, it just, like, why? Why is... I don't understand. This, like, I'm, I will double check the footage. I'm going to quickly Google the scene. And I will correct myself, guys, if um, I have messed up. But I seriously don't understand. Why are there translucent panels here? Like, I, I don't get it like i can't fathom it i just don't understand i really don't the patronuses though are really nice we didn't get the stag again but we don't need another stag give it exclude keep it exclusive to that set which is cool i like the training dummy and that harry potter is i don't know what it is but it's one of my favorite harry potter mini things well it is my favorite version of harry hermione is great too the luna is great too but that harry i don't know what it is i think the printing is just literally just really cool just quite different than any that we've had really before so yeah, that is it. That is what I think of this set. Again, apologies for going on that rant a bit there, but I just don't understand. Like, why are there translucent parts? It's a great set, nevertheless. It is a really awesome set, though. If you don't mind customizing things, it might be a good option to like switch out the four blue columns for the tan or grey or any other kind of colour that would locally look better than this. But thank you all for watching this video, and until tomorrow's video, I'll see you there. Bye for now.